I am a mister. I am a... You are a what? What? Mm, uh, I am a... A missus. That's what I should punch you on the face. Now, you guys ask me why I punched her on the face. Okay, let me change. Yes. Okay, the point is, I punched her on the face just because she said, Mrs. Coming to the main point, I punched her because she said the wrong word. Okay, before correcting the word, let us at first know what is gender. Well, you differentiate me and Shah Rukh Khan by our gender, right? He is a male and I am a female. In this case, all of the animals of the world, all of the living organisms have a female version and a male version. Now, in our schools, all the time, in grammar classes, we learn gender, right? So, we always learn that masculine gender, feminine gender, and neuter gender. And that is, masculine gender refers to any gender that is related to male people or boys. And female gender or feminine gender refers to all kinds of girls. And now, at the point when this is neuter gender or common gender, we say that a baby who is just born, we don't know the gender, and a thing, it does not have a gender, like this pillow, it does not have a gender. So these are neuter gender things, or any living organism with which you cannot identify if it's a female or a male is neuter gender. Now, we know that there are many, many conversions of gender change, right? Like cow and bull. And now, there is ram and ewe. Okay, there are many, many differences in this gender change. And we learn it in our classes. Each and every day, the same thing each and every year, right? Yes, that's the point. And one more thing I want to denote here is, after learning all of these, at this stage, we see that there are a few changes where the male and the female are called the same. Like teacher, doctor, engineer. A female teacher is called a teacher. A male teacher is also called a teacher. Again, a female doctor is called a doctor and a male doctor is also called a doctor. So, there is no gender change here. Now, let's tell you the reason of me punching that missus. Okay, now we know that gentleman and lady and then duke and duchess, king, queen, these are the gender changes of few like reputed people of the society, of the country, of the nation or whatever you say. And now, whenever you say Mr. Why do you say Mrs? Mrs spelling is M I S E S. Mrs means that you miss someone or you are missing something in any of your works but here the word is mister so whenever you're changing it where is the t going the t should definitely stay in the answer the perfect word that is the feminine of mister is mistress mistress m i s t r e double s well we know that it is a slip of tongue of many people of our country why the reason is we talk and talk we talk and talk we never stop talking and at the time we say i am mrs suppose morshid and Jahan, and i'm mrs that i'm mrs this but hey this is actually not mrs 
someone is calling you a mistress with respect, you give your name a respect. That's why you say a mistress or to just express that you are the respected wife of some mister, some respected person. That's why you say that I am mistress dash, your name there. So the perfect word is mistress. So please don't confuse this with Mrs. because Mrs. is a verb, not a gender change. And now, whenever it comes to gender, we always see that the topics of gender discrimination, gender equality are coming in our country. Well now, let's talk a bit about the gender discrimination that happened very, very years ago and now the condition. Well, in Bangladeshi perspective, at first I'm going to share and I think this perspective is very common in most of the countries and most of the nations of the world, so there is no such difference. Well, at a time in Bangladesh, women children or female children were forbidden to study. It was said that they are meant to do household chores, stay at home, entertain guests, and at a time get married to a person who he or she, I mean the she, doesn't know at all. So there was this girl called Begum Rokia. She was the pioneer of women empowerment. Well, she thought that, yeah, male people learn these type of things. Well, I can also learn these because I have the eagerness to learn and I can take them in my mind. So why should I be not educated? Why should I be illiterate? And she also discovered this thing that like maximum of the population of a country is women. And if these women become literate and go in a working place, then there will be no population problem in the country. All of the population can be turned into human resources. Now, this is a main problem in our country too. Well, our country is hugely populated and our land is not that much to satisfy our population. And almost half of the population of the world, especially our country, are women. So, if we empower women, if we make them literate by giving them at least the primary education that they need, then they will be able to engage in different working sectors and become human sources, and they will be helpful for the country to develop our country's socio-economic condition, right? And one more thing I want to denote is now the condition has quite advanced. There is no dowry in marriage, there is no child marriage either, there is no enforcement of children not going to school and there are many more awareness things that the government has taken. And the most and the best place where I see the women are getting employed, the village women, the unprivileged women are in the garment sector. Well, you see, the garment sector has been the largest export-oriented industry in Bangladesh so far. And now, this garment industry has more than 3,000 units in Bangladesh, where more than 40 lakhs people work. And most of them are women. So do you see that this garment sector is increasing the employment opportunities of the women and how we are turning our population into human resources? Yes. Now, if we establish more and more garments, the number of laborers will increase, more and more women will get the chance to get employed and develop the economic condition of our country. At the very last, I want to conclude it in this way, is that if we want to develop industries, we also have to see the condition of our environment. Because by keeping the environment intact, we have to establish industries. For example, due to industrialization, if the environment gets affected, if the environment gets damaged, then that industrialization is never called a development, especially sustainable development. And to achieve SDGs, Bangladesh has to maintain this balance between environment and industrialization and prosperity.
So thank you so much everyone for watching this video. The main objective was to teach you that mistress is the word, not missus. But when I thought that as we were talking about gender, let's talk about gender equality, SDG goals, and our activities that we can do to empower women. So that was all. And thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope I will come up with a very spooky, not spooky, an interesting video to be honest. Next time, till then, assalamu alaikum, stay safe and ta-da!